Okay, so this is day two of the Triax Accumulator Challenge. Uh, the goal today is to run two kilometers. Uh, we did one kilometer yesterday. And um, we've got to increase our distance every day by one kilometer until we reach the end of the month. So it sounds quite an easy challenge when you first look at it. First week it should be quite nice. But then as we get through it, I think the last week's going to be a killer. So I recorded, a, well, I tried to do a stream last uh, yesterday uh, and it didn't work that well, <laughs> in fact it didn't record and I wasn't going to run a K again. So today, second attempt, hopefully this will record. You might actually wonder why I'm recording it. Well, there's no real reason. Uh, I thought, you know, when you do a challenge, you need to have reasons to do it. And I thought, well, if I record it and I put it out there, then that's just more of a motivation to sort of see it through, really. I couldn't care less whether you're watching it or not, to be honest. It's a run, so I'm still walking, so let's get going. today is the 5k run course in Watopia which is a fictional town or world in the middle of nowhere really. So you can see that on the screen. That's my avatar running there. And you've got all the data now. I like this you see because you can see your heart rate your pace, distance run. So quite good really. And uh, there are other people running in the world too. Real people, not pretend people. Well, I think that we appear on your right hand side of the screen but if you can see no one it usually means your internet connection is absolutely rubbish which probably means my streaming is probably not going down too well either screen you've seen a little arrow up here like a square with an arrow this gives you a choice of routes so I'm gonna stay with the route that it's telling me which is to go right and this will take me on the 5k run route along the seafront So 
so far so good. Most of my treadmill we're on 0.6 of a K. Running at 627 pace. you know, I haven't got the best eyesight. So, when I've watched other people streaming live before, they can see all the comments and stuff coming up and they can have a conversation, but I can see them at all. So if you say, Gwyn, you're an idiot, I'll just be oblivious. I've got my earplugs in here and I've plugged that one into my iPad and my iPad's doing my live stream so I'm listening to see if the streaming is working which is great but I think I'm about 15 seconds behind what I'm really doing which is why you might see I'll speak for a bit and then I'll pause because I'm listening to myself speaking so it's really hard to talk and have some idiot talking in your ears repeating what you've just said but with a 15 second delay it's really complicated I wish you'd shut up anyway now I know how breakfast news readers feel when they've got the uh, people talking in their ears it's really hard Anyway, we're coming up now to our first K. So today is 2K. Yesterday was 1K. Tomorrow's going to be 3K. Now I thought, you know, I could just run this. I can aimlessly plod my way through the whole lot. I failed and to be honest we all know at some point during this 31 day period I'm gonna fail this move and how far we get to is well who knows but it's gonna be a journey and I'm really happy to share the journey with you I'm sure there's going to be some bumpy paths on route. Now listen, I've, uh, I've got an idea which uh, caters for failure. Because I mean, you could fail on day four by not being able to do the 4K run. And then that would be the challenge over and that would be like, oh, well that didn't last very long. So uh, this is my plan and you're all welcome to adopt the same plan or cheat as I might call it. <coughs> so if you get so far into it, say I get to day seven and I don't manage to do the 7k, what you've got to do is take a day off, rest. And then go back to day one, start again. So you can still keep on going through the month. And it, you know, it's, the goal is to get as far as you can. So if you get to day 14, that's pretty good. Even if it's taken you 31 days to get to day 14, that's still pretty good. Now, um, if you got to day, say, 10, and then uh, you miss day 11, it'd be a bit, of a, a bit of a nuisance to have to go all the way back to day one. So this is my plan, it's a bit like, who wants to be a millionaire? You 
get to certain points where your distance is frozen, you don't have to go further back than that. So, the first freeze point is day seven. So if you fail at any point up to day seven, you have to go back to day one. But if you fail after day seven, say eight, nine, ten, you only have to go back to day seven. So you know, I think that's a good idea. And then our next uh, catch point is day 14. Get the, you get the spirit, get the idea. Every seven days. And then day 21. Finally day 28. So that's the first little cheat. That keeps you going. You can't just sort of get to day three, crash out, and then eat chocolate and drink wine for the rest of the month saying you gave the challenge a go. Clever, I thought it was clever. Um, right, the next one. The next idea. I'll remember it in a minute. Oh yeah, structure. Rather than just running, absolutely aimlessly, you know, plodding along. Let's use it as a constructive training plan. Now, I like plans. Structure and plan, I like them. Mind you, to be truthful, you'd probably get a lot further if you just ran everything really slowly. But I'm not one for them. I like to think, let's put some structure in here as well. So for the first couple of days, days one to three, we're just doing easy peasy running. So easy, I can talk non-stop, bore the living daylight out of everyone, uh, without even getting too much out of breath. Which is fantastic. Um, but from day four onwards, I'm gonna give you some structure. So, a bit of fast running, a bit of slow running, all balanced out. We'll try and give a plan that's not going to break you. But hopefully, at the end of the end of July, you will have had some good quality sessions amongst all that running you've done. So, you have something to look forward to. Now, we're running along the beach, yeah? On my treadmill it says 1.87. Just beginning to get a little bit of a sweat on. Still very much warm up really. You know we're still what 10 minutes in. So the first 15 minutes of any run should be nice and easy. Very gentle run. Just get your legs covered. So I hope you've enjoyed day two. Sorry about not bringing you day one. Obviously, it was half the time. A lot easier to listen to. Tomorrow will be a little bit longer. Uh, of course, like we say, like and subscribe. Hit the button. I am got a button. But, you know, hit the button so you get to hear the latest. Oh, you get to know uh, when I. Oh, 202, we've hit the two. So we're done. 2K in, day two complete. Special thumbs up. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, next time I might turn the fan on. See you later. <laughs>